Microsoft announced Monday it will update Windows 8 later this year, a move the Financial Times is calling Microsoft's new Coke moment. The Financial Times reports the tech giant is preparing a U-turn in key elements of its relatively new operating system, marking one of the most prominent admissions of failure for a new mass market consumer product since Coca-Cola's new Coke fiasco nearly 30 years ago. A Sky News Tech reporter says the Windows 8 system is best described as having a touch user interface, but on both desktops and touchscreen devices. Microsoft Chairman Bill Gates shared the company's motive in developing Windows 8 on CNBC Monday. It's going to be harder and harder to distinguish products, whether they're tablets or PCs. Uh, with Windows 8, Microsoft is trying to gain share in what has been dominated by the iPad type device. So why the dramatic change? Microsoft's head of marketing told the Financial Times many users were having difficulties mastering the software, saying the learning curve is definitely real. Even so, people are buying the system. Microsoft announced Tuesday Windows 8 licenses hit the 100 million mark. The next web points out that's also about the same sales Windows 7 had in its first six months. But regardless of consistent sales, Microsoft is acknowledging the update is necessary. It's codenamed Windows Blue and it will make some significant changes to the software. But the BBC reports Microsoft has been very careful not to give away any details at all about what those changes will be. But it has made the point very emphatically that it's been listening to what its customers have been saying. So for example, that set off a frenzy of speculation that one of the changes was they will reintroduce the start button. And in the Time Magazine column, a tech analyst said Microsoft committed a strategic blunder when it took away the Start button in Windows 8. He says the return of the Start button with Windows Blue might help get more people to buy Windows 8. However, Microsoft's blunder has cost it and its partners dearly over the past nine months. If that's true, the cost could continue to climb. The Windows Blue tune-up won't be released to consumers and businesses until the holiday season this year. For Newsy, I'm Logan Tittle.